Hi, this is Jay. Welcome to Bright Ideas. Here are the first three theories and definitions of intelligence. The Binet-Simon scale, Spearman's two-factor theory of intelligence, and Terman Stanford Binet individual intelligence test. Number one is the Binet-Simon scale, 1890s. The modern approach to understand the concept of intelligence began with the work of Alfred Binet, a French ecologist from 1857 to 1911, and his colleague Theodore Simon from 1873 to 1961. Binet was hired by the Paris school system to develop tests that would identify the children who were not learning and would not benefit from further education. Together, Binet and Simon developed and co-authored a test to roughly measure the intellectual development of young children between the ages of 3 to 12. They wanted to find a way to measure the ability of children to think and reason. Binet developed a test that asked children to follow commands, copy patterns, name objects, and put things in order or arrange them properly. From Binet's work, the term intelligence, quotient, or IQ evolved. The IQ is a ratio of mental age to chronological age with 100 as the average. So, an 8-year-old who passes the test for 8-year-olds has an IQ of 100, which is the average for his or her chronological age. Meanwhile, an 8-year-old who passes the test for 10-year-olds has an IQ of 10 over 8 times 100 or 125. This child's IQ is above the average for his or her chronological age. He or she is brighter or more superior than other children in his or her age. Binet's and Simon's work influenced the growth of the intelligence testing movement. Number two is Spearman's two-factor theory of intelligence, 1904. Charles Spearman, a British psychologist from 1863 to 1945, advanced the two-factor theory of intelligence, G and S. Thus, the performance of any intellectual act requires some combination of G or general factor which is available to the same individual to the same degree for all intellectual acts, and of S or specific factors which are specific to that act and which varies in strength in from one act to another. The theory explains that if one knows how a person performs on one task that is highly situated with G, one can safely predict a similar level of performance for another highly G situated task. Prediction of performance on tasks with high S factors is less accurate. Nevertheless, since G pervades all tasks, prediction will be significantly better than chance. Thus, the most important information to have about a person's intellectual ability is an estimate of his G. Number three is Terman Stanford Binet Individual Intelligence Test, 1906. Lewis Madison Terman, an American cognitive psychologist from 1877 to 1956, published a revised and perfected Binet Simon scale for American populations in 1906 while he was at Stanford University. In 1916, he adopted William Stern's suggestion that the ratio between mental and chronological age be taken as a unitary measure of intelligence multiplied by 100 to get rid of the decimals. The resulting intelligence quotient became known as the IQ. The classic formula for the IQ is IQ equals mental age divided by chronological age times 100. By far, the Terman Stanford Binet Individual Intelligence Test is considered as the best available individual test of intelligence.